The objective of this video is that when you pull your curtains closed, it stops in the middle where you want it and the pleats are nice and evenly spaced. So to do that, you're going to need a pack of Ikea curtains because the algorithm I came up with is very specific to Ikea's curtain tape. And you need some hooks. When you buy Ikea curtains, they include these instructions on how to get New York pleats using their hooks. And this is what it looks like. It measures in at 38 inches, so if your window is 76 inches, you're in business. You probably don't need this video. If your window is smaller, however, it's not going to work. It's going to be all bunched up and it's not going to look pretty. If your window is bigger and you still want pleats, you'll probably have to do two curtain panels. Uh, the pleats go pretty flat after 38 inches. I tried it. Didn't look very good. And this is my algorithm. I'll start with the width measurements, okay? This is what each width looks like. So you have to decide where you want your panel to stop. For example, the middle is a good spot. Uh, you need to measure. Divide by two will work. Make sure you measure from the outside of the bracket because you're going to be placing one ring on the outside, right? If you're doing rails, measuring from the end should do the trick just great. The inside. Inside. I always mark my inside with tape or something because uh, I tend to get confused really easily and this helps me. I'll be starting with this side. Okay, X, if you notice, always starts in the same spot, regardless of which width you're doing. The inside. Your dead zone. Two loops and X goes here. Now you're going to put your X arm into that loop and lining yourself up via the dead zone, you're going to do the exact same thing for your next X because X is always in the same spot. And then you're going to do the exact same thing until all 10 hooks are in. Next, we're going to do the Y. I'm going to do the 18 incher here. So take these three numbers down here. One, two, three. Let's also do a 26er. This time we have six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you get to the end, you don't have much choice but to put it in the last loop. And you should have something that looks like this. I pin my loops because when I go to hang them, I often have mass fallout. Uh, very frustrating. It may not happen to you. It seems to only occur with certain curtains. But if it does, the pins help. No guarantees, but they do help. And this panel is ready to put up. Next, let's do the other side. For this, you need to do a little brain flip. And you're going to put all your X's in, starting from the opposite direction, right? And then one, two, three. Hang that one, and you're done. Yay! A little aside, you don't have to start where IKEA starts, just as long as you put all your X's in the same spot and then it's the same as before. One, two, three. I also did some 20 hooks. I uh, was very surprised at how nice they look. If you're interested, there you go. And that's all I have to say for today. Hope my algorithm works for you and your window and take care.